The Amazon Prime adaptation of Fallout is gaining a ton of attention online following its release, with new fans diving in to see what all of the Fallout hype is about, and old fans watching to see if the series lives up to the franchise's lofty expectations. And if Twitter is anything to go by, it seems that Amazon Prime's titans have fallen short. A tweet is going viral online, with the user sarcastically posting, Oh boy, I sure hope the Fallout Amazon TV show pays homage to older Fallout games and New Vegas. This got fans talking and asking the question, does the Fallout show actually connect to the games? Well, the original creator of the Fallout games and the executive producer of the show, Todd Howard, is adamant that it does, saying, we view what's happening in the show as canon, but fans are claiming otherwise. And one example in particular involving a major faction known as the New California Republic seems to contradict its previous lore, as the show states the faction collapsed following the destruction of their home in Shady Sands in 2777, which completely contradicts the lore from Fallout New Vegas. Vegas. One Twitter user even went so far to claim that the show essentially removes New Vegas from canon completely, stating people are really going to hate the new Fallout series, not because it breaks the canon of the world, but because it wipes it clean. The Fallout show essentially took the world built in the first two Fallout games, and by extension New Vegas, and wiped it clean. But Twitter isn't the be all and end all. Yes, there are a few discrepancies between the games and the live adaptations, but the series definitely borrows more than a few ideas and themes from the franchise that OG fans will absolutely love. To begin with, the most obvious inspiration for the series is the original Fallout game, with not only the Southern California location appearing in the series, but also the Brotherhood of Steel being an extremely important part of the show. Just as a heads up, there will be some slight spoilers in this video while discussing the themes, so just keep that in mind. Probably the biggest nod in the TV show to the OG game is what happens to Vault 33. Just like in the game, the water chip is destroyed, meaning that the residents will soon run out of clean water, which triggers the events for our protagonist from the original game to leave their vault in the first place. Moving along in chronological game order, Fallout 2 appears in the show mainly by the introduction of two major factions, the New California Republic and the Enclave. vault -Tec was expanded upon in Fallout 2, and the TV show runs with its lore even more, expanding upon its origins and the main aims of the organisation. Fallout 3 has a less obvious inspiration to casual Fallout fans. The Capital Wasteland was a complete change of scenery from the first two games, but sadly, it does not appear in the Prime series. In fact, no locations from the game get any screen time in the live action adaptation. But don't lose all hope, Fallout 3 lovers, as there is a huge emphasis on the story between the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave, with a focus on the subsequent war between the two factions. Not just that, but the show's protagonist pretty much has an identical reason for leaving their vault as Fallout 3's protagonist. Both are in search of their fathers. I'm trying not to spoil too much for you, but let's just say it perfectly sets up the chance to see more of the Enclave going into Season 2 of Fallout. Moving on to the centre of all the controversy, Fallout New Vegas barely appears in the TV show. I mean, there's not even a reference until the final shot of the season. While the New California Republic does make an appearance in the show, as previously mentioned, the lore seems to be all over the place with regards to this faction. Again, to avoid spoilers, the faction's storyline does come to a pretty definitive end at the end of the series, so it does seem unlikely that New Vegas will have much of an impact on the show's storyline moving into Season 2. And if you thought the show's lack of love for New Vegas Vegas was bad, the complete lack of acknowledgement for Fallout 4 is downright disrespectful. The show barely makes any references to this game. I mean, off the top of my mind, the only reference I can remember is the introduction of the cryogenic pods, but these only appear right at the end of Season 1. While they are introduced quite late on, the vault -Tec's employees' use of the pods to stay alive strongly hints that the pods will play a huge part in the story going into the second season. So, despite what the internet would have you believe, the Fallout TV show hasn't gone completely off script and ignored some of the lore that made the series the masterpiece that it is, but even with all of the references integrated into the series, this hasn't stopped some fans from theorising that the snubs to some of the games in the series, specifically New Vegas, wasn't just for the sake of keeping the series concise. A comment on the official Fallout Reddit gained a lot of attention, with the user saying, I know someone in the games industry who heard from the horse's mouth that Bethesda despised Fallout New Vegas and have gone to great lengths to ensure it is wiped from the Fallout continuity. While I don't think this is Todd's way of completely erasing New Vegas's existence from the history books, it's more likely that as an executive producer, he chose what he felt to be the most intriguing storylines of the series that would best translate to the TV show. Either way, despite the canon contradictions, the show is actually receiving extremely positive feedback and is one you should definitely check out. That is, if you don't mind the lore being just a tiny bit off. And while I've been chatting to you, YouTube's algorithm has been cooking up the perfect video from our vaults just for you. So why not go check it out?